There is more in this world for you to live for than me. Don't you? I, I don't believe that. I don't know what I believe anymore. There's more to believe about this world than people think. We just have to keep ourselves open to the unexpected, don't we? I brought you some forms to sign so you could be released tomorrow. I was surprised to hear you were going. I thought you were going to stay and have the surgery. It's my mind, my body. I can do what I want with it. Look, I'm not having another episode here. I'm just talking. I chased her away, didn't I? Who? Emily. <laughs> okay, what, what if I said yes? Then I'd say I'm sorry, and I'd hurry up and get out of here as soon as I could so you could try and talk to her again. <laughs> It happens to me, too. <laughs> yeah. What does? Someone, um, someone I once knew. I can still feel them with me. Someone who's gone, but not really. Someone I want to hold on to. Someone, someone that you loved, or? Someone I love. But, uh, we just can't be together. That doesn't give me an excuse to ignore the rest of my life. I mean, I have a job and family and good friends and a hockey team. The world goes on, like it or not. And the people that we choose to occupy space with come and go. And if we're lucky, they come back again. But in the meantime, they wouldn't want us to just sit around and waste our life, you know? So we can keep the best parts of them with us and... <laughs> ah, gosh, I'm sorry. As my aunt would say, Nadine, you can talk the ear off a stalk of corn. Ah, uh, good luck out there. <clears throat> and don't let go unless there's no other choice. Well, how do you know when that is? I don't know. I'm not there yet myself. But I can say that only you will know for sure. In here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Who's that in the locker? Um. Oh. I have to get this. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I, I gotta go do rounds. I'll see you later. Okay.